So this is how I control two accounts on one computer using HotKeyNet. Now first you start out, of course, um, by going into the classic directory and starting uh, two uh, of the World of Warcraft. And you'll see that, of course, on the top it says World of Warcraft. Now you can get uh, HotKeyNet online and uh, download it. I ha currently have a uh, 1.45 build 210 and the important thing y you can use the samples and everything that it has on there. We're gonna see if we can zoom in on here onto the bottom. Uh, the only change you would really have to make to any uh, scripts or whatnot that you might have or might have found for HotKeyNet is I uh, change the uh, well you can do the control R I'll get over here oh, get in there school in there you can get the control R and uh, you use that just to uh, look for the uh, world of Warcraft now while the scroll bar the scroll bar has to be uh, the scroll lock that is I mean has to be pressed in for um, hotkey net to react because uh, you can see it says there uh, hotkey scroll lock on and then control R it's going to look uh, for World of Warcraft in the title and you have to do uh, control R to activate that and that you will most likely not see the change in the titles on the top if you do you don't need to call it again but then uh, call it a second time and the names will change to say WoW 1 and WoW 2. Now once you see the WoW 1 and the WoW 2 you change in and you add this other part here uh, for uh, with the scroll lock on for control T and uh, that will change uh, some hidden boxes back to World of Warcraft and the labels that they're going to use within this is WoW 1 and WoW 2. Uh, for some unknown reason or whatnot, when the uh, new versions of uh, WoW Classic and even the retail versions run, it makes a hidden window that will also have the World of Warcraft name. Um, so they they invariably get logged in or loaded uh, first, and then the actual ones that you uh, log into. Uh, importantly when you do your login stuff make sure you press in scroll lock uh, so that you can put in your account names without it uh, transferring whatever uh, commands and then once you go back and forth you can uh, and you get into the game you can use the scroll lock uh, to do any commands that you have in the game and uh, you want to stop uh, the uh, commands or whatnot from being transferred from one screen to the other you just press the scroll lock turn the scroll lock off and then when you want to start again you press the scroll lock on so um, you don't need anything other special than that in order to use hotkey 10 hotkey net now you can use the version uh, Windows version 10 version out there and they have a sample part and really the only change you need to make is to add in uh, a call to control R two times and then control T. All right, I hope you find that informative. Thank you.